Oh, they did? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start recording now, oh. so like... Don't shit talk? No more shit talking. <laughs> At least be nice. <laughs> so, the, um... We're back. Here's another one. Here's another, another podcast. One. And here's another one. And we're, um, we're just standing around. This is... Another Our Wednesday night podcast. Looking at this new game that I got. I want to play this. It's called "What Do You Mean?" Oh, podcast yeah. or a game? I think oh, it's a podcast. Game, yeah. But I want to play this. But I feel like you need more than three people. Um, you can probably do it with three people. This game but... is called "What You Mean." What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what you mean? What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> the knockoff. It's all you get on AliExpress. <laughs> no. Well, the, so they're trying to figure yeah. out a way to call it, like, vegan cheese. Oh, yeah. Because cheese, like, the FDA of Canada, whatever, like, the governing agency of food has an issue with calling vegan cheese cheese because it has no actual, like, dairy in it. Right. And so on the radio this morning, there was a... Um, cheese. I said we call it V's. <laughs> <laughs> but somebody else's was, what do you mean it's not cheese? Because <laughs> I think mean, that's butter. What do you mean it's not butter? Oh... So the name of the vegan no, cheese is what do you mean it's no, not I, cheese? I can't believe it's not Oh, I something like, believe it's I can't believe it's not butter. I can't yeah. believe it's not butter. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, I just, I thought it was funny. So what do they, do they actually name it? Um, I'd say, I think it's like a current issue. So oh. it doesn't get to be determined. <laughs> I want to play this game. Yeah. So basically what the game is, is you just show a meme oh. <laughs> and you put it on the easel. You put it on, yeah. You put it oh, on then the everybody puts their, their yeah, little so their smart like, aleck comment yeah. down. Just like how you get to, well, there's one card that you pull that's... Okay, I get it, I get it. I want to play it. I'm into oh, it. Oh, no, it's this. You pick this. And then you put your card for the caption. Yeah. Actually, I don't I actually don't remember how to play this game. Every time I play, like, the last time I played Cards Against Humanity, we had, like, a dunce pile. There was just, so there's three of us sitting here right now. Yeah, and so Oh, good. that would be such a great podcast had... if you played with a whole bunch of people mic. I don't know if that would be funny. Because it's, like, really... It's it really would, vocal. It would be me laughing at my own jokes the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Like, 100%. But no, so we had... I was in Edmonton, and we were playing it, and there was, like, let's just say three people, and we had a dunce card. So there's four piles, three actual human beings, and the dunce pile was just, like, a one-off, just throw a card in there. I had more in common with the dunce pile. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but you, like, think I'm funny. Like, what are like, my best friend is here, and, like, we have nothing in common. Like, I'm... I was so rattled, and I was like, everyone I, I was feel like, like that game is one of those games that like you do match up with other people like yeah. on your comedy, yeah. and then some people don't get your humor. One whatsoever. time, so back to like the whole like Angela's dates. Um, <laughs> it was Christmas Eve, Chris, Christmas Eve of two thousand. Can that be the background? <laughs> what? <laughs> Angela's office. <laughs> um, so it was Christmas. It was Christmas Eve a couple of years ago, and I had a first date with this dude who I went to the gym with. Mm-hmm. And it's Christmas Eve, and we both had dinners, but it was like eight p.m. and he was like, "Okay, hey, let's meet up at eight on Christmas Eve because you know science and this makes perfect sense." <laughs> um, so we're like, "There's he picks me up from my mom's house because where I am, and we have nowhere to go because there's nothing open." Okay. And so he's like, well, what were you doing inside? I was like, we were just drinking and playing, like, Cards Against Humanity, but, like, a dirty-ass version, like, with, like, syphilis involved in the cards. And, like, <laughs> our Google history is gross now. And, like, <laughs> it's, and this is, like, with my mom. And he was like, well, do you want to go back in? And I was like, what? And he's like, I'm not, like, afraid of your, like, your parents. Like, I don't care. And I was like, all right, whatever. So that was our first date. Wow. We went back in. And I was losing because, like, my sister and I have very similar comedy. Yeah. But, like, my mom is just, like, a cardboard box of humor (laughs) and i don't even know and then so i was losing just like nothing nothing was happening for me Mm -hmm. but this dude sweeps in and like me and him like everything was so funny and i was winning the game and i felt like (laughs) yeah i mean that's a that's a syphilis card (laughs) that could have went bad and that could (laughs) have that's a joke Yeah, he never talked to me again. Yeah. No. <laughs> he called me crazy, too. Um, Perfect. But that was my first date. That was Cards Against Humanity on Christmas Eve. I like that date story. Right there. But that one, the Google search history was aggressive. 
Like yeah, if you had gone imagine. through any of our right? phones after, Why are you because Google searching? because it, none well, of like things. we didn't know what any of the stuff was. Like uh, it was so raunchy right. that we were like, what? "Where'd you get all the raunchy cards?" Oh yeah, Express. <laughs> 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 I'm not even kidding. <laughs> we need to get sponsored by AliExpress. I wonder if I'm still has it because it was aggressive. It was like a like one of those like value add on packs or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Could we had no like idea a, what yeah. what any of it was. Yeah, you can get the raunchy ones too. Like, I feel like, I mean, you can get, like, editions. Like, we could get, like, a Harry Potter edition. That's true. I gotta watch all the movies before I You have, like, a tiny commit little, to that. like, 90. It was, like, 20 cards, so extra, or, like, 10 cards. Or yeah. It was, like, 90 nostalgia pack. Yeah, that's right. But One time, in, like, a texture pack. in Australia, we were, um, South Australia, um, at a, a little beach cabin type deal, and we didn't have any cards. There's like ten of us, so <laughs> I was like, "Hey, everybody, grab a suit. Everybody, pick a suit and just start making cards." So we were literally oh taking like God. a loose leaf piece of paper and splitting it into four feet, like I guess quadrants. that would work, yeah. And I'm like, "Everybody, just make. You have hearts. <laughs> you have space. <laughs> one to That's one so to twelve. Weird. One to thirty. Essentially, uh-huh. yeah. And then we played um, King's Cup. Oh, <laughs> 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 that was another first date. <laughs> no, there was. I had a boy. I had a boyfriend at this, <laughs> at this particular time. Is the wedding trip. Yeah, which the wedding was a dramatic experience in yeah. itself. They couldn't even like buy cards. <laughs> no, that's because we rented a cabin of sorts. We were there. That was a fun little getaway. It was really pretty, but we were in Munta Bay, Park. South Australia. I think oh. is what it was called, and it was this little cute little beach town. Yeah, that's nice. Just like beach towns. I just oh, I really want to go to Topino. Stormwatch, or surf, whatever. But I've been. Well, we've been. Yeah, we've been oh, to really? Tofino. Yeah. I want to go to you kill it. Oh too. yeah. That's where we camped. The islands. I just like open ocean. Like we have open ocean, like ocean here, but it's not mm. open. Like when you yeah. look, you see the island. Mm-hmm. I just like open ocean. When we went the first night, we slept like in a parking lot by the beach, like just in our camper, even though we weren't supposed to. But no one bothered us, so we just slept there. Then the second night, we got lucky. Because the all the campgrounds were full, but this one campground was like you can just like unhitch your trailer there, like pay us fifteen bucks, and you can use the bathrooms and the showers and stuff. We were like, Sweet. yeah. <laughs> you can hear you. I don't know. I, I could kind of hear her in the headphones, but it's oh. very low. She... Oh my god! I feel like if you're talking and we're responding to you, and it would make sense. It wouldn't make sense if you can't hear. Before you, you guys said that you could hear me. Yeah, I could. I could hear. Was you. it the volume? Was it different? I don't know. I, I did just, put it down a bit. I don't know. I because just it think, was mic. It was like spiking. Whatever. But I, I'm pretty sure that people can hear you. I don't know if they were interested in the story, but <laughs> whatever. We're just sorting this out. We're new with this, okay? <laughs> yeah, we're just amateurs, okay? Um, but I did. We drove down to with Josh and Stacy, and Tristan was ten months old, so we drove from here to San Diego. Oh wow! And we had a camper. No, a trailer. Josh was towing a trailer. Josh drove the whole time. Oh my gosh. god! Like me and Stacy, because there was a trailer, so me and Stacy were like, no thanks. Yeah. And a baby, and Stacy gets car sick, so she couldn't sit in the back. So if Tristan like was fussy, it was like Auntie Anne to the rescue. Oh, and yeah. twenty couldn't even drink in the states yet either. Oh, and yeah. we were, I think we we're in like Eugene, Oregon, or like somewhere in Oregon, mm-hmm. and we slept in a Walmart parking lot. It was so creepy. Yeah, it's legal right. to do. That's like a thing there. Yeah, but it was so friggin' creepy, and like I don't know if the Walmart was twenty four seven, which made it like a little bit better. Because we could just go whenever we like needed something. A hundred percent, yeah. But like, we went in, we got a whole bunch of beer. Josh accidentally got American Light beer, so it was just <laughs> beer flavored. Slowly getting drunk. Like a beer flavored yeah. water, <laughs> and sat in the parking lot. We didn't have any hookups, so I don't think we could. I don't think we could flush the toilet. Mm. So I think we had to go into Walmart for that. But Which just, is okay. It was just creepy and just weird, and we were just out in the open. There's nobody. Else. We were the only ones there. Oh, if there's anyone that knows, it's us. We we spent like, quite a few nights with. Walmart park, parking lots on the way here. It was really pretty though. In the morning, there was a storm and a double rainbow. So now the train, the trailer you were in, was it up? Like you pulled it? Yeah. Okay. So so you were driving in the pickup truck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then drove from here, and then we went. The goal was, and I still remember because I was just so over. So I can't really spend. Now I probably could because I drive for a living. But mm-hmm. now, but then I was like eight hours, and I was like, I can't sit here anymore. Like I can't do this. Yeah, and, eight hours is a long time. But I remember getting to Disneyland. Like we stayed at an RV park, 
that was down like walking distance from Disneyland. Oh yeah, yeah. And apparently when we pulled in, I just let out like the mat like the biggest just like oh like sigh of relief and like we are here. <laughs> Don was waiting for a large fart. <laughs> no, we're family. I was doing that the whole time. <laughs> if anyone knows, it's my family. <laughs> um but yeah, so I mean it was a fun trip. Like Disneyland's fun. But the third day it was like I don't need to see anymore. And so we kept on, kept it, keep it on. Went to Universal. Oh, that's good. Went you to, did both. Yeah, that was like the point of the trip. Although I feel like I've never been to LA. Like I've been to Universal Studios, but I feel like I've never been to LA, which is like yeah, because like annoying. that's in Anaheim, just outside of LA. Yeah, well mm-hmm. Disneyland, and then we went to Universal, so we drove through it. Mm. But and then we went to, we kept driving down to San Diego. Nice. Where I got a second degree sunburn. Oh. <laughs> At the beach? <laughs> no, at the like the wildlife park. Oh, cool. And um, yeah, and then we drove, drove home. And then there's Mount Shasta in California, in Northern California. And I was just so pumped to like be just on the way home. And like I looked, I was like, is that Mount Baker? Which is just north of Seattle, I think. Yeah. Like you can see it from home. Yeah. So I was like, someone like, please it's tell like me a, that that is like, like that's flag. Baker. Yeah. And they were like, we're still in California. Like, <laughs> you are still. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Just like wanted to get home so bad. Yeah. But yeah, that was a two week trip. I mean, it was a good time. Yeah. A testament to how much you like those people. Like two weeks in a vehicle and like a confined space. Yeah. And then like, I, I didn't argue with them. They may have been annoyed with me. Yeah, but... It's interesting that. <laughs> it's the, very the, plausible. <laughs> if you find the right. This whole side there like that fucking trip with Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Their story is so I'm going to have so gone back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next week on the podcast, we have Angela's brother <laughs> talking about the California trip. This bitch would just stop farting. <laughs> All she did was talk uh, the entire time. She just wanted some peace and quiet. She complained in the Walmart parking lot. Probably. No, I colored the whole time. I freaking colored <laughs> the same one. Oh my god, no! It's been nine years. Well, I mean, uh, it's, they are a lot of work. But no, I have adult coloring books, and Don makes fun of me because when I'm I done with one. them, yeah. But when I'm done with them, I put them on my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> like you, hang, you hang them, you hang them up like. <laughs> like I'm Mary proud. Brown, she gives it an A every time. <laughs> In a red mark. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know where to put them. Yeah. And I like the you OCD. You should frame them. Well, you can I keep them in the book. No, like the OCD. I want them out. No, oh. she wants to display them. I just need them like when it's done. I just need them out of the way. Oh, like my hand. Ever since you mocked me about my hand, I can't. <laughs> I need to like tape it down. Yeah, but you're making her do it now. So do then you she's do like, it? yeah, she'll I be like, she's like, can you give me a glass of water? Mm. I don't do that. I feel like I just use this hand for like all the things. I think you guys I, just like mannerisms I've just rub been off each other. After asking for a glass of water, I think you made that up. <laughs> Maybe it was me. <laughs> yeah, probably. No, that was a funny video though. My my birthday. I laughed really hard at you trying to mock me at the end of it. <laughs> a for effort. But like, there's only I one me. I realized how drunk it was. <laughs> I it up. Yeah, that's a pretty decent case. I mean, you don't meet a lot of people that have, like, noticeable traits that you can, like, mimic. Or, like, it's almost like a tier of endearment. And, yeah. Like, Where you don't, like, just blend in. Mm-hmm. You can't with this hand. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but, yeah. No, that was a fun birthday. That was what game catchphrase. That was a fun game also. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would that be an good. interesting podcast, but there's going to be a lot of yelling involved. That'd be a very that would be fun. Podcast. That'd be fun. No wonder the neighbors complained. Yeah. I mean, Wait, we were the neighbors out... complained? Oh, you didn't know that? No. They, yeah, I mean, we were out there till like 1.30, oh. and Josh has neighbors whose backyard is right, and they're like, their window is right next to the, right. and they're older, and they've got an older tenant too. And so, and I mean, because Josh loves to be outside. Yeah. So they're outside all the time and they have the fire pit. And so I guess, and I mean, I feel like it's January and we're still outside until 1.30 in the morning. Like the neighbors are probably like, right, like give it a break. Yeah. And it was right after Christmas. So I feel like they were just kind of like over because they love to host. That is like their bread and butter. I mean, they're so, yeah, your brother's house is so well laid out, laid out for parties and yeah, it's a pretty good time. When they had the Christmas party, I passed out. I was just tired, so I went to my nephew's bed to go sleep. And I guess because I disappeared, everybody was like, like, where'd she go? And so apparently they went on, like, a manhunt for me. But because uh, Brayden's bed is, like, a like a bunk bed, mm-hmm. and I was above, 
eye level. No one could find me. <laughs> so they were freaking out because they were like, <laughs> "Where? Was... Like, where does she go?" And so they like there was like a search party, They'd not like an actual. Again. But they apparently so when they finally found me, they were like, "Oh my god!" Like we almost had the entire house like guys. Looking this for was you. like the San Diego trip of two thousand one. <laughs> Doesn't love it. No. <laughs> um, no, because I couldn't drink then. I was in the States. Right. I can just walk into Walmart and just ask for alcohol. Just get the second degree. I like the idea well, I'm gonna now, move, though. I'm going to move your mic. Cause... I know, it keeps rubbing. I know, it's got to be... Try to try yeah. run in the middle of your sweater. It's really, like, real, real deep into it. It's not usually Good an piece. issue there, Don. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel oh, like this is going to hit <laughs> So new with this. You know what I'm going to do? I would just hold it. <laughs> <laughs> you could. <laughs> I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> it's like the smallest little micro. Uh, <laughs> a microphone. micro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a mini microphone. A micro microphone. <laughs> a nanophone. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, no, California is fun. I really want to go to Palm Springs with like you guys or like, mm. like rent a house. We should like do that. Something, because that should be fun. Or I've never been to um, Arizona. We just Where do they go in Arizona? Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh, where do people go? Phoenix. Oh, oh yeah. Phoenix. Yeah. And then there's Scottsdale. I think is like the suburb or whatever, or like the like the non Phoenix part that everybody goes and rents houses in. Apparently, because Palm Springs, it's like 9 p.m. and like it's almost like a generator shuts down. Oh, oh. I see. And then so there's like I mean, depending on what we're doing, but like I mean, I'm. Enjoy just hanging out in the backyard, just because it's oh, you know what you so could do? warm. You could probably do this. Just like hook it to our wine. Like just splash. Oh, there we go. That yeah, works. there you go. Um, it's like a micro phone. A microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so like the ones you get with your phone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's why I said I had my headphones. Oh, it does sound really good when you look down. So maybe the mic doesn't need to get closer oh. somehow. Sorry, my voice is fluctuating, <laughs> just like my temperament. <laughs> My testy moods. Um, but yeah, I really want to go to Phoenix. I just want to go all the places all the time. I'm fine with that. Anywhere hot would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. My girlfriend lives in Vegas right now and it's like not very hot. It's pretty miserable. Like, and Vegas can get miserable. Your cousin just sent me. I was like, uh, mine? <laughs> your cousin. <laughs> just, <laughs> We've uh, also been watching your family's vlogs. <laughs> plot twist. Yeah. Can you imagine if your family vlogged too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, your cousin sent me a, uh, this thing about Vegas where it's snowing. What like the they, there was snow in Vegas. Yeah, so if you want bathing suits for Vegas, I don't know if you're going to need them. Well, we still have another month. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I should ask. But I, I've heard. I've only ever been to Vegas in the middle of the summertime. Mm-hmm. But apparently the pools close down until like April. That's true. There are a lot of planes. There's a lot of pools that don't open until. So I'm not sure the actual details, but. Well, we're end of March, so maybe some will be open. But also like when we were there in September. Yeah. Like it was hot during the day, but like really, really cold at night. No, October. That was October 31st. Oh, that was, yeah, Halloween. People were saying the weather is not that great then either, but it was really hot during the day. Yeah, it's nighttime, which is the trickster. Yeah. I just want one. I'm gonna need it in the summer anyway. Yeah. Whatever. There's nothing wrong. I, I mean, mine are like getting really ready because I was I went on when I lived at home and had nothing to spend my money on. Bathing suits were my jam. Mm. Oh really? And like, and when Victoria's Secret sold bathing suits, I would go, and get, like, I would find one that fit and I would buy like all the colors or whatever like patterns that I like. Like, I have. Feels a, like, like that's a what you box. do with shoes too. You I know, find that's, one. <laughs> that's my thing. <laughs> but like I don't like yes, I'm not a huge shopper, but like when if I find, you find something that you like. Yeah. But like it takes me so long to like actually like like even the shoes that I got and like my vans. I'm like I was obsessed with them before I got them and I was obsessed for like although I was kind of these ones I was on a shotgun. Shotgun spree, but like <laughs> But doesn't your mom just randomly like buy you clothes and stuff? My mom just loves to spend money and well, that's buys. Why you don't have to buy them all the time. Yeah, I yeah, guess. If you didn't have pants or tops to wear, you'd probably go buy them. That's true. And I mean, like, my girlfriend Amber is ish. I don't know how her clothes fit me, but she went through her closet because she used to work. She's the one that used to work at a, like work for Aritzia as a fit uh, model. So she's uh, got a whole bunch of like Aritzia clothes. 
and she just went through, like, she just hauled through her closet, just what doesn't fit, what she doesn't wear. So she gave me, I think, two plastic garbage bags of clothes to wow. just go through. And most of it, if it wasn't pants, most of, like, the tops fit. And then my sister is also a huge shopper, and she did the same. So most of my clothes are, like, amber and orange. I'm sorry, clothes. I'm having such a hard time focusing on what you're saying. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you measuring? She's measuring her waist. <laughs> You know how hard it is to have a conversation when you're standing? <laughs> when your wife is in your face measuring. <laughs> Sing. I don't know. I found that so now measuring things. <laughs> I feel like I found not... a measuring tape, so she's measuring everything. Yeah, where did now. that even come from? <laughs> it's like in the couch. <laughs> the big comfy couch. Do you remember that show? Yeah. I feel like I have like it it keeps static in here. Bench. Yeah, it's because it's, it's still the same. I, I can just know. hold it. It's not a big deal. No, cause like sometimes it works really well, and then I can't figure out. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> While everyone's just waiting for us to talk. <laughs> Whenever we're working out the kings, that sounded. I feel like whatever. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's the volume. Let's let's put up the volume. If that's the case. It's like my arm is just like rubbing the volume up and down. There you go. Like a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, I can hear you a lot better now. Interesting. Interesting. I really want to be on, like, Big Brother and wear one of these all the time. I would love to be on Big Brother. Angela, please put your mic back on. <laughs> Angela, <laughs> you don't have to wear the mic anymore. <laughs> please return the mic, Angela. You're at home. <laughs> Actually, give the mic back. <laughs> no. Do you watch Big Brother? I love Big Brother. Um, okay. Well, A, I do have cable now. I hadn't had cable in a long time, and I forgot about it. I did like it. I only like the American version. The Canadian one's boring. Yeah. Well, it's a bit better now. I think... Because they're trying more to get it more like the American one. Because, yeah, it was like a, it was a hardcore knockoff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it's not Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> I'm laughing really hard at my own joke. <laughs> um, I really want... Like, I've been to a casting call. I clearly did not get in. But, like, I want in so bad. Although I hate people and I love privacy, so I don't know why I want to go. <laughs> you like, be the first one out. I feel like you might be able to make it through your gift of, like, talking. Although you'd probably get, like, pissed off at people and get kicked out. Yeah, like, I mean, I mean once I reach, like, a, like, the threshold of, like, I'm done. Like, yeah. I can't hide it. Like, my face tells it all. Like, I cannot. Yeah. Okay, this is really cool because... If we, we should do this. Every time there's like a new Big Brother episode, we should get together, watch it, I'm and down. then talk about it. I'm down. Because that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. There's a lot of people looking Tara's up. Tara's going to be pissed that she's not here to be Who? Well, Tara? <laughs> Tara. Him, yeah. Tara. Oh, Tara. <laughs> we'll put her on FaceTime. <laughs> it's one of those accent things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say it like You're that. You're not allowed to say it to Tara. <laughs> Tara. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, Tara. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I'm down. I'd like because I do like Big Brother. I've got opinions. Yeah. That'd be, <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so much fun. And is it on Wednesdays and Thursdays and Sundays? Oh I think. yeah, we we do like, like marathon oh, watches. But, okay, so. well, and my schedule wouldn't permit anyways because we normally this watch damn, all three in one day. Because yeah, I'm not into these graveyards. Yeah. Although hopefully they're going to be done soon. But isn't it though? It's the summertime when they film, so I wonder is it on right now? Mm, no. I feel like the. Canadian one should have started at some point. No. Because uh, it's in the winter. No, I don't think it's on. It Man, I want to be, be on that soon, show. But... We can Google it. We can figure it out. But yeah, yeah I'm down to do that. Do that thing called Google. We can do that but for it, sure. Canadian one's always filmed in the winter. It's yeah, but snowy. remember, we your cousin Becky was trying to get on. Yeah, well, she obviously didn't get on. I know, but you would have. I've, I would have saw ads and stuff. I feel like I tried to get on. It was like March. I feel. Oh, okay. I had to go, ugh, such an embarrassment. Did you do the, so I, I did watch some people, like, talking about it, and did you have to, like, stand with other people mm -hmm. in a room mm -hmm. and have to be, like, the one mm -hmm. to stand out? You have to stand, ugh, you have to stand in a really long line. <laughs> this is so annoying. Um, you have to stand in, like, a really long line, and it was outside, it was cold, it was raining, obviously it's Vancouver, yeah. and it was at a bar downtown, and I went with a girlfriend who I used to work with, and... You wait forever, and I think they take five people at a time, and then they, okay. they, there's one person that just kind of talks to you. Okay. But 
I don't know. I feel like I would do really good at it if they could see my personality, but, like, I don't care enough in, like, a small setting. Like, yeah. I, I don't have an obnoxious personality. Did you yeah. watch the Big Brother one with Bruno? No. That's, okay, so I think that's a Canadian one. I don't, I've never seen a Canadian at, version. At like, I've seen, okay. I've seen, like, glimpses, but I'm, like, immediately was, like, Ew. Yeah. Yeah, Bruno it is Canadian. Oh, okay, so anyways, this Canadian guy said that the, almost the secret of getting in on those types of things is that when you're in the lineup, they want to see... Like, you're better off picking a fight or defending yourself publicly in front mm-hmm. of them because they want to see people that re- are resilient or that they're dramatic. Yeah. So the, he was saying, like, almost, like, kind of start something with somebody or, like, which is crazy to think, like, you would start a, a beef. Yeah. With a random with person. With a random person. Well, they want that. Well, they want to see that. Yeah. And, no, I, it's, and it's true, and I completely agree, but, it, like... I mean, who's... Like, that's... And, like, I'm a nice person. Like, I'm not going to pick a fight with someone because they stepped on my, like, brand new Nikes. And, like, <laughs> I mean, that would... Maybe like, we should go... What? <laughs> well, pretend we don't know each other. <laughs> you just literally go there for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I step on your shoes. <laughs> oh, my... I mean, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but they do say, like, I don't know if they hand out things. But they say, like, it starts now. So, like, if you're... Because mm-hmm. I remember watching one, and he was a cop in real life, and he didn't want people to know that he was a cop. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was a great... Was I think his name was Derek or something. Yeah. And so it's, like, it pretty, like whatever season. whatever you're going to do, start now. Yeah. Yeah. So, because in case anyone in this room is also in the house with you... Yeah. But They'll know. Yeah. yeah. I just, I don't know. Like, I can't fathom being stuck. Like, it's the cabin fever of, like... But, like, I think it would be so interesting, and I, I think that would be, like, one game that I, like, legit would be good at. And I really want to do it. I I even my sister would, is like, I feel I like... I would be good at it now. I don't... Don always wanted me to do it earlier on, like a few years ago. But I think now that I know the game really well, yeah. I think I would... Yeah, I game when I was telling you to do it. Yeah, like I was still learning it. And I, I don't know like, the... Like, I'm not like a diehard Big Brother fan, but I feel like... I don't... But I don't know if I can politic well. Like, my thing... Like, I don't, I don't know how I do in those types of situations. I assume that I would be okay. Like, how to... You mean, like, how you would... Like, you would... Of, have a hard time like pretending to be nice like, to people that I didn't like. You like people that you don't like. I know. My thing is like I feel like I have because I I'm not like a huge gossip so I and I've gotten really good at just absorbing information without. Yeah. It's better not to be a gossip. Though. Yeah. So like I've gotten really good at absorbing information that if like people are venting or telling me things, I've gotten good in like responding in a way that I'm not agreeing or disagreeing yeah but i'm pushing i'm like oh really and then like my tone of voice and like what i like kind of like provoke will draw out more information without having ever said anything about that particular person kind of yeah oh i see what you're saying yeah but like it keeps the conversation going and like so i could still continue to get more information without having to like give up anything yeah right <laughs> don just made a finger i wish i was this easily entertained <laughs> <laughs> can't drink wine okay <laughs> anything that's true I don't know, like a Chinese finger trap. We tried to do that at work one time. I wish we had a smoothie. Why oh, don't you get? Do you not have a blender? I have like a tiny food processor. But I could probably make a single. You're probably spending so much money on smoothies. I don't though, because I only had like one a week. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Because there's no way to get a smoothie the, right um... here besides like McDonald's, but I'm sure that's mostly sugar. Yeah, it's a syrup. They're good yeah. though. I like that there's, like, yogurt in them, and you can, like, taste the yogurt, but I don't feel like I'm having anything remotely healthy. At least with, like, Jugo Juice or Booster Juice, I feel like I'm having something kind of healthy yeah. as a snack. Yeah, Booster Juice is good. Is it even real, though, Booster Juice? It's, most of it's frozen fruit. I think, like, some of their things are, like, frozen purees, but it is Greek yogurt and, like, frozen fruits. Interesting. Uh, I think Jugo Juice like is, I, like, fresh. I feel like at this point, it's, like, when Don talks, it just... We'll pass the mic back and forth. Well, isn't there another one? No, there's only two. Oh, I thought there was another one. I wasn't supposed to be part of this, apparently. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either. I'm not going to not talk for two hours. But don't twirl it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just play with everything. I'll hold it. Okay. <laughs> like an actual microphone. <laughs> hey, can you not? <laughs> hey, well, I don't know. Um, Teaching Don how to that, talk in a mic. Is that a drone? Yeah. Damn. 
Not really. I've seen them. I mean, I, they don't. They don't interest they, me. They don't do anything for you. No. In the air, and then that's like the all they is do. Like the footage to watch in your vlogs. The two seconds of footage that you put in. <laughs> <laughs> do you but, like it? Because like the the sometimes you're like, you kind of like hint to like reduce the amount of footage I put on the vlogs with the with the drone. Well, like not How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> not everything needs drone footage. I think it's like cool to have. I don't know. You always get like an aerial to go fly in, and I'm just like, I don't find it that interesting. I know, like drones. <laughs> I got a. I have a friend who lives in Seattle. Who, fun fact, we went to Vegas, and because he's a dude, we just said that he was our gay best friend. And then if I didn't want a dude to hit on me, uh... I said that we were married. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so his job, though, he went. He made a full time job of drone-ing. Oh. And so now he's like, for real estate companies, he'll go to like fancy ass houses and like yeah. drone sure. footage, like the surroundings. And it's turned into like a sweet job. So I can see why some people get real excited about it. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'm like, it's I, I it's never, flying, yeah, like yeah, I, at first them. I didn't, I wasn't like crazy into him. I always used to see Mark, my brother, fly them all the time. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I don't know. But ever since they, like, started putting cameras on them, like then I cameras. started, like, better cameras on them. I was like, oh, man, this is cool because you're in an area and you're like, oh, this is a cool area. I wonder what it looks like in the sky. And mm -hmm. then you have that ability, that opportunity to fly 400 feet above. You that's know? true. It's, like, it's just a different perspective, I guess. Yeah. But I feel like it'd be cool to go into, like, Vancouver, like, the older. I guess it's a lot of trees, though. Like, the older neighborhoods in Vancouver. Mm. Yeah. But I feel like it would just be a lot of trees. We did it somewhere. It was Sandra in Vancouver. Yeah, we f we f I flew at Stanley Park, which that'd be pretty. Allowed, but... Oh, really? <laughs> but it was really nice because like the trees are so tall, so much water. I love. There's Stanley things Park. you find that you're like, well, like I was flying near the Westwood Plateau, mm -hmm. and uh, like by accident, I found a house that had a another house built in the backyard. Oh. Which is really weird to me. That's really weird. I mean, it like, was who like builds a, full a house? house? No, but it was like a full blown house. Like a hostage house. Like a hostage. You find house, like, yes. like a kidnapping. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. <laughs> Matt, did you report the extra house? There was a some. There was somebody who they. I think for Valentine's Day they were like getting real kinky, and they. Wait, were, who is this? It was like this is on the news. I don't know. Them. Oh, okay. Um, and so they wanted. They had like a like um role playing whatever and so i think she was tied up in the back seat naked in the car oh and my somebody God. saw this naked chick tied up so they called the police i mean yeah. i would definitely call the police yeah. on that yeah so apparently then apparently their mug shots apparently i haven't seen them but apparently their mug shots they can't even look at the camera and they're so embarrassed oh we God. should play a game like oh okay this is the scenario Wait, would you call the cops for i think public indecency oh i don't think you can't you're not allowed to do it in cars that's why cops show up she was just naked in the back seat wasn't she well she was also tied up but I don't know. I don't know. But they got arrested. This is in the States, I think, probably. You get arrested for breathing wrong in the States. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We should play a game where you set up the uh, like the situation, and then you guys need to say whether you would call the cops on that or not. That'd be fun. <laughs> Although, that'd be weird. This is like a weird test for morals. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, it's fine. Like, no, she's naked tied up. Like, no, she's probably just having a uh, real good couple, time. Yeah. Couple. <laughs> You guys are like, no. We're going to stop her from being naked tied up. And you guys don't do that too? No? Just me? Okay. Never mind. Couple in the back seat? No, I wouldn't call. They're both tied up? Yeah, I would call the cops. <laughs> Someone waving for help? No, they're just being friendly. No, they're just waving back. That's funny. But are even they... if like she was like, I'm fine, I'm like, I don't believe you. I don't believe you're fine. Well, yeah, because a lot of people would say... Yeah. I, okay, I don't want to test this theory legit, but apparently if you're ever in the trunk of a car, you can like... Stick around with the tail lights. Yeah, I heard that. And I heard so I, I knock them out. I, I like. I want to test the Siri for <laughs> just because I want to <laughs> know. But no, and then so while I said that at one okay, point, okay, next podcast we're putting and in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those like things, like how fast can she get out, <laughs> or like draw attention to herself. But no, and I also said a long time ago, and my friend was like, "Why do you want to do this?" I said that I wanted to learn how to half swallow a pill. Oh. Where you don't actually swallow it. You, like, apparently there's a space in your throat. That you can hide stuff? Where you can, you don't, you can, like, keep it, and then you gotta, like, either cough or, like, kind of... Well, you know who used to do that? Houdini. <laughs> well, casual Houdini. Just casual. Kidding. Houdini died. Houdini died, that's right. 
Like recently? No. <laughs> like fucking like a hundred years ago. Oh. Yeah, but doing a magic trick. Oh, yeah. did he? No, he did. Oh, I didn't know that. But that's because he, okay, there was a whole story. Sawed himself that. in half? No, he actually died upside down in the water. Oh. But that's because he had like something to do with his lungs. He was sick or something. I can't oh, remember. Oh, that sucks. But um, what he trained his body to do was swallow keys, but low enough. That he can bring it back up. And that's yeah. how he got out of a lot of the restraints. Yeah. So apparently, I don't even know. And I don't know who I told this to. But I remember them making fun of me. Because they were like, when would you ever be in that situation? I was like, does anyone that. know? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, Especially so, with your first dates. Right. Roofies, halfway down, put it back up. I Actually, feel, they don't come in pill form. No. And I've tasted. <laughs> although, okay. Like, so, like, full discretion discretion whatever i've tasted roofies and i don't understand how people cannot taste them in their beverage oh, they are the most really? tasted a roofie i've what's a different podcast <laughs> <laughs> that would be like the third episode but really? like essentially and like cuz I, I think it's called it's a it's a drug and it's a yeah. liquid form and so i don't know where i forget who i was with oh, is it liquid and it's liquid yeah, it's clear it's liquid, liquid but like it's disgusting like i tried it out of curiosity cuz you remember it, what it kind of taste like it's, like what would you compare it to it's bitter and str- strong like a grapefruit it's like a tasteless grapefruit juice <laughs> oh essentially that's actually a really good way of describing it and i i tried it in beer and i oh that would really and, stand out and yeah. i couldn't like i took a sip of my beer and i was like who in the like i can't drink this did you like fall on the floor eventually no i just fell asleep I had it because I only had a little bit. With? So I, my best friend, at a, oh, okay. at a, like it's she like was doing. By herself. It was, I was. It, was it wasn't like this. She have roofies. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't her. It wasn't her. Oh, okay. And so it was like it wasn't like this setting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then okay. so it was just like we were all just hanging out playing um, rock band. They were playing who can roofie each other the fastest. But it's disgusting. Yeah. How long did you sleep for? And like, I only had like a sip, so like I had like a real quick cat nap. Oh okay. How but much like, roofy do, do you need to fall asleep? <laughs> well, and then no, so if you, I don't know, like, because I, I was just trying it, it was just like, um, like an eyedropper lid. Yeah. So that's tiny. Yeah. And, that's, and it makes that you was, happy. and that's how much it ruined my beer. So I'm like, I don't, wow. I'm like, how am I, like, okay, I'm not discrediting people that no, have no, been no, drugged. No, 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 yeah, I get, yeah. I get but, what so, you're like, I don't understand, I just don't understand how that has happened, or maybe, I don't know what I had, maybe it wasn't actually a roofie. Actually, if anyone's listening and has been roofied, what? That's been an interesting. Yeah, it'd be interesting to hear like what happened to you, and because I also heard like it also messes you up to the point that if you really get dosed, the next day you're like really out of it. Well, like, so it affects you the next day as well. So the reason that people apparently do it is because it's like getting really drunk without the hangover, which is it's draw. That's why people do it like recreationally. With people like roofie themselves. But that's what like what the out? the story that I just told. People had it for shits and giggles, and I wanted to just try oh. it to see. Holy. And so I took the like, smallest amount. Like we literally like looked around trying like like a bottle cap would be way too much. And so we had I think someone had an eye like eye drops. Okay. And so we took the lid of an eye drop bottle and I put that in my beer. But I couldn't even finish the beer because it changed the taste so much. It was disgusting. I tried to add a lime to the beer, did nothing. And I like I think I had half the beer and then I just got a new beer. Huh. Because it was disgusting. So I'm like, I just don't understand how people... Yeah. yeah. But then I feel like an asshole discrediting people that have actually No, you're not drugged. discrediting. You're just asking the question, like, how... Like, how does it, that happen? Must, but, I mean, were you extremely intoxicated already before I don't you, think so. Like, I wonder if that maybe changes anything. Maybe if they're extremely Maybe. Yeah. yeah. But I just feel like... And then I remember, so after that story, I was at a concert, and one of my girlfriends was like, I feel like something's in this drink. So I was like, oh, let me try it, because I know what it tastes like. (laughs) (laughs) And then, Well, did you ever see that little, that um, nail polish you can get, where you can stir with your pinky? Yes, which is actually a really good idea. You can tell whether it's roofied or not. Well, and even, like, I went and I talked to you, but I went, I was on a date, and I went to the bathroom, and I was talking to Don in the bathroom, because I was like, oh my god, he's actually so cute. And then I was like, oh, fuck, I left my beer on the, like, out in the open, though, and I was like, oh. And I was like, I mean, but like you don't think about that until it's like too late. But I was super aware of the yeah. fact that I had left my beer with him. Hmm. And so I was like, that's just like a very vulnerable situation. And it yeah, sucks that you have to fun. literally proactively think about this type of stuff. Yeah, that sucks that girls <laughs> have to. But wait, what happened to the friend at the concert? Was, was there roofies? Oh, so I took a sip of her drink to see. So mm-hmm. I was like, I know what it tastes like. So I mm-hmm. like, because she was like, I feel like something's in here. Like something just, I have a weird feeling. So I took a sip and I was like, it doesn't taste good like, first of all you're an amazing friend to do that well because i know what it tastes like, like, so like what if it wasn't roofie 
Well, no, but like, <laughs> and like, what it's gonna like if if you drink the whole drink, then sure. But if you have a sip, then yeah. like, whatever, you're gonna you're gonna get like a tiny bit drunker for free. Like, thanks, yeah. guys. <laughs> so, but I ended up getting super drunk that night, and so I like I feel like there was something in that drink. Oh. Because both of us were hammered, and we did not intend it. It was like we were at Wiz Khalifa, and we on like a weeknight, and we did not intend to get like as drunk as we got. Yeah. And so I feel like and yada yada yada, we were all like it's hard to get drunk at we were all the partying so with penguins. So expensive. Yeah. No, you don't get like high. You just get like super. <laughs> you just get like aggressively drunk. It was just all LSD. <laughs> just casual. Well, that time. <laughs> it was. It was a great time. We saw Wiz Khalifa. It was amazing on stage, and we had penguins and large giraffes. <laughs> giraffes? What? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was that was. A, I mean, a fun night, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Just being drugged, not even just deal. roof each other. Not each other. Someone, I think, because there was a group of guys in front of us. Mm. There was, I think, maybe six guys in front of the three girls that we were with. And then we got picked up by her mom, and I just remember being way drunker than I like intended to get. And it's hard to get drunk at concerts because a they're super expensive, and the lineups yeah. are ridiculous. Yeah, so. and there's like no chance of getting into the bathroom. Right. So like honestly, it's not even worth it's honestly not even worth drinking at concerts and sport like sporting events. I'd love to drink like beer at like a Canucks game. Yeah, but unless I have an ILC, no chance. <laughs> what did you What did you used to do? Like, did you used to go to concerts when you were younger? Um, I've been to a few concerts, but I think they're overpriced and like not worth it. In my uh, did humble you used opinion, to drink before you go. Yeah, kind of pregame yeah. for everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, like I like concerts, but I just think they're overpriced and not worth it for what you get right yeah at least here like i mean the i think the the last concert that i saw was probably like the backstreet boys <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> last year um no the last one of the last times with new kids on the block with i think that might have been, might have been the last concert or if you go to the commodore the commodore has decent shows because it's like a much closer enclosed space okay and it's way cheaper, but to go to, like, GM Place... No, it's not even GM Place anymore. It's Rogers. Mm. Um, yeah. That's how long. Like, I literally... It's been a while. I go, I've seen Jay-Z, and that ticket was, like, $250. Yeah, I find it <clears> so <throat> interesting how these tickets have gone up so much in price. Because yeah. I remember being that's the only able way they, to afford it. That's because yeah. that's the only... Because you used to have to buy their CD. Now you have oh. Spotify, and now they have to jack up their prices, because how yeah. are they supposed to make money? Right. Because, oh, can you imagine? Like, I don't even know how many people... Like BC Place, nobody goes to BC Place. Like Rogers Arena, yeah. How many people that place holds and every ticket is like two hundred dollars? Like yeah, holy poo. Mind you, I feel like concerts have been getting more elaborate too. Well, I feel like, like they have fire, to be justifiable. More, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, like I mean, I pay for Spotify and that's ten dollars a month, and that's like the royalties that an artist gets. I think is point zero one. It's it's cent. really bad. Yeah. So it's like, and it's it's that or nothing. Because like, I used to download music too. I mean, mm-hmm. I've I haven't purchased a CD in, I think since that Jay Z CD that I bought. Man, CD. I'm a loyal fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you really like Jay Z. <laughs> it's all about Jay Z. <laughs> Which I'm not even that big of a fan. Although he took all his stuff off of Spotify, and they have an American version that we are not allowed to have. So it's oh Pandora. Oh yeah, Pandora. Yeah. Because we. I think and Jay Z owns. I think Jay Z owns. No, Pandora. Pandora uh, Jay Z owns uh, uh, Sadel or. Oh man, there's another one. Yeah, another. One. <laughs> there's another <laughs> one. Um, Citadel? No, what is it called? I said, that's a, there's a neighborhood in the Coquitlam called Citadel Heights. <laughs> Actually, have you ever been the, to that giant hill that they have in that area? Um, I want to go snowboarding down that hill. Not that I know of. There's a dude that I used to like that lived up there. Well, there's. There's no snow now. Yeah. It's supposed to snow. It's supposed to snow all, yeah, which I'm not excited for. As soon as it starts snowing, I'm going snowboarding at lunch. There was, oh, it's gone away a little bit. It's only supposed to snow. Yes. Yes. I'm I think really excited for it. would be such a funny summertime. vlog if, like, you saw, if you just decided to, like, hit all the tiny little hills there are in your city. Yeah. Like, the tiniest. There was people sledding at the airport because there's, like, a little, it's kind of like a big dish. And so there's people pulled over and like that's actually a really good idea. Cause it's a steep hill and it's just. But now picture someone snowboarding with a drone. <laughs> with a drone. And a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are connected. And <laughs> keep up. It's like Stop just breathing into the microphone. <laughs> and now he hears the air. <laughs> No, I'm on one. Yeah. 
I thought about, I was supposed to hang out with someone who I'd like, literally like these dates are getting out of control. I don't even know who this was, but for your birthday, I wanted to bring a date to your birthday. Ooh, that would have been fun. Because like there was a conflict of like schedules and I was like, no, like Matt wouldn't even care. Like he would think it's hilarious oh, if I, I actually just combined like two, yeah. <laughs> two birds, one stone. I, yeah, I would definitely like that. He would like to witness it firsthand. I would, I would definitely want to like interview him too though just everyone's <laughs> wishing Matt a ha- happy birthday and like, you guys are like so, so what's, what's your last name <laughs> what's your favorite color yeah <laughs> I mean it's not above me it's not beneath me sorry <laughs> I can make that happen if I can get another date I deleted no okay recently I deleted the dating apps I can't handle it oh is that it there's I just need a break I can't there's one there's a person who lives down the street from us still won't tell me <laughs> I think he will like Although he goes to my gym. Oh. oh. So I'm like, should I just like, what if we just naturally meet at the gym? And then we can like tell Like you like, mean like well, meet in first person? Well, like, yeah. Like what if it's not even a date? Like what if we just run into each other at the gym? Like yeah. did I technically meet you at the gym? Because <laughs> we still haven't. But like he's shown no interest in like getting together. I don't know if he's busy oh. or just not interested. But I'm like, I'm getting real impatient here. Seriously. Because it's been like, I think he was one of those people when I went through my Bumble and like re-evaluated oh yeah i think he was one of them and so and now he won't answer you he'll answer me if i like message him and like well bullshit he and, like, won't answer you? no he will like i was oh, talking to him the other night but like i think because he, he i think he owns a company so i feel like he's super busy oh right 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 <clears throat> so i feel like and because i the whole graveyard thing is throwing everything into like limbo but, oh for sure yeah but he's just being weird and like just and I mean, it, it's weird that this random chick is asking you where you live, because we were talking, and I'm like, no, like, but like my good friends live in like my little bubble of my neighborhood, and mm-hmm. like you just randomly fall into it. So I'm like, I'm just curious as to like where do you actually live? Like, yeah, not an address, but like a cross, like just roughly. Yeah, like a cross section. Yeah. Like I know you live really close to like the McDonald's and like the John B. So I'm like, where? Like, do you live on like the hill? Do you live in like? We just need to know if he's worth the being in the trifecta. Right? Basically. Like, otherwise, we have to kick you out. Well, I mean, yeah. like, the fact that you're he didn't... have to move. <laughs> <laughs> I have to call the cops on your house. <laughs> I think you're a drug dealer, is what yeah. I think. Um, but no, I'm just curious. And so, but he, I think he thinks that I want to, like, stalk him, which oh. is not the case. I'm just curious. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, it's weird that you're, like, telling, not, this was a joke, but he was yeah. like, oh, you're, like, telling people about me? And I was like, yeah, to get, like, a nickname. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. you're Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> And then, he, than lemon. <laughs> oh, lemon. Other guy. Yeah, like these are real. Like people, girlfriends have nicknames for how guys. Many, uh, yeah. How, uh, how would you like? How many <laughs> girls actually name? Like, is that a common thing? Yes. So a, a lot of girls have little nicknames. For... The dude water bottle. She doesn't even know his real name. His That's real true. name. I have no idea. And she's met him. <laughs> <laughs> she's <true. laughs> What about what about other people? Do you know if do you do you have friends that do it as well? Yeah, oh, okay. my so sister like... and her like I get tagged in memes all the time on Instagram. Oh, there's there was a meme about like did you guys even date if it doesn't have a nickname? <laughs> <laughs> like I have nicknames coming out the Yang friggin Yang. <laughs> like what are the oh, like other ones? I'm trying to think, but they. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> But, like, my favorite was the alcoholic man whore. He was not a good time. I mean, alcoholic and a man whore. But water bottle was another one. Lemon. Lemon. The driving instructor. <laughs> the driving instructor. That's pretty direct. <laughs> that one's pretty odd. Like, you can hear this. Like, awesome. I know who I am. <laughs> I know. Um, whatever. Um, but, yeah, no, nicknames are, like, paramount. I can't think of any yeah. right now. I feel like there I'm was drawing one for a, every single one. There is one. Like, I don't, I do not give people real names. Yeah. Right. Even the dude from, like... Oh, I feel like he has a real name. I don't know. But, like, everybody has a nickname. Like, I rarely, rarely, rarely give people their actual their names. Their actual names. Well, we got to keep them straight somehow. Literally. <laughs> like, on a, like, and I told Tom this the other day. I'm like, I know that you're getting annoyed with, like, keeping track of, like, who I've gone on dates with. And I'm like, because I'm annoyed with trying to keep track of, like, what their names are. So what would you tell someone? Like, let's say somebody's asking. that Someone's about to ask somebody on a first date. Like, what would be the top three things... To get them to like really win that person over, like, what? Well, how do they start? How do? How would you um, help them? Like, should they? Like a guy or a girl? A guy. Because I'm such a dude. No, because you can <laughs> see am. it from the other side. 
Um, to like, okay, so for like to win me over, okay, they would have to like take initiative and like plan it. Like if someone wants to take me out, then oh, I don't want, good. I don't want to, I don't want to do any of the thinking. If you right. want to go for drinks, then you figure out where. Right. Tell me where and when to be. That's a good thing. That's that's really that's a good point. Because it's yeah. like you yeah. want to go for drinks. Where do you want to go? What time do you want? Yeah. Like, just know if oh, you want to take me for take drinks, initiative. then yeah, just yeah. do it yourself and yeah. tell me where to go. Yeah. And what would be like? What would be like a a good message that they can send you? The first message, like, what would you expect? Well, I have a weird sense. Of, like, I have a dark, twisted sense of humor, so I feel like I'm not. So, like, I don't fall into like the typical. But, have like, you ever been stuck in a trunk? Huh? <laughs> well, actually, on Tuesday, <laughs> we made this podcast. Hey, oh. <laughs> um, Episode three. Look for it. Um. No, I don't know. Like a typical message, it depends on their humor. But I have such a one-off, like literally, my like as I said, my cards against humanity humor mm-hmm. yeah. is like so singular, and like I'm laughing at my own jokes. I'm like, whatever, I make myself happy. Like, <laughs> so like I don't know. Like I'm, funny, I mean, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong because I've been single for so freaking long. But like to get my well, attention, not, I'm just wondering, like, what would what would get your attention? I feel like I don't know. Not being a creep, there's a lot. People don't think that they're being creepy, but they're being creepy. Yeah. And it's just like, no, I do not want. Okay, so what not to do? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what, what's a creepy message? Just then? don't invite me to come over and cuddle. Like, yeah, no. That's like, creepy. I think that's creepiest. Like the first line was like. Literally, or like within the first five minutes. Like, I don't even like hugging people. Yeah. And like, people want me to like. I so it's a rule that I do not go to people's houses and I don't invite them to mine. Right. Because that just sends the wrong message. And some guys will be like, oh, just come over and just like. Like, yeah, does like, anyone fall for that? Like, yeah. tell me who falls for that. Well, like, are they like, 18? I, the, I, I was doing that video with Sarah, and she, she would have, like, tons of messages oh. that were not even hi or, like, hello. It was just dick pic. Yeah. First or, thing. Straight up dick pic. Just, boom. Or, like, <laughs> so another thing what not to do is, like, I get, like, oh, like, something about my looks. Like, cool. Uh, like, hi, you're pretty. Oh, like, hi, you're cute. Or, like, you're, pu- like, you're beautiful. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> No, but, like, it's just so surface level and basic, and it's, like, right. you get it, like, to the point that you get it so often that it means nothing. Do you think, like, something, like, they would read the profile and then comment something ab- about you based on that profile? Ideally, yeah, because that means they actually read, and it's, I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, it's hard to come up with, come up with something creative every single time, but, like, even, and this is going to sound so vain, but, like, people are like, oh, you have a, such a pretty smile. I'm like, nah, thanks. Like, I know. I've been told that 600 times. Oh, so something <laughs> different. Something, so it's just, like, and it's just something yeah. not about your looks because, right. like, that's, that's all they're basing it off of. And I right. understand that it's difficult. Right. But that's, I, I would that's honestly. good advice. I would yeah. honestly rather get a question. And although this one bugs me because, like, where do you want to travel next? Because I love to travel. Mm. But at least that sparks some sort of, like, initiative. Like, they're trying. That you're, like, interested in my personality. Or, like, just something about, like... Yeah. Or, like, I think before I deleted it, it's something about, like, loving to be on the water. Like, what's your favorite beach? Or, like, where like where do you like to go? Like, what's your go-to, like, right. body of water? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just... But it's, like, something to try. Like, literally, because, like, we're in a day and age of, like, so many options. Right. But if you blend in with the crowd, you literally will just blend away. Like, right. there's nothing. In some of these apps, I mean, the girl has to initiate in the first place. Which, and so mine, I literally had a copy and paste message because I'm, like, I do not, I hate talking about work. Yeah. Like, this is my name. This is what I do for work. This is roughly where I live. This is how long I've been single, and this is what I'm looking for. So here's a copy and pasted message of... <laughs> Just that. Yeah. And I sent it to everyone. And so many people took offense to it. But so many people thought it was absolutely hilarious. Because you set the stand. Like you said, this and is I, who I am. And I said it was copy and pasted. Right. Like and this is this is not unique to you. This is literally what I send everyone. <laughs> that is pretty funny. So like take it or leave it. But like just I hate talking about work too. Like yeah. just yeah. the driest conversation that you have with several people day in and day out it's like ask me what my favorite like monster is i don't know just something just something that out of the norm yeah because it's just the conversation gets dry so fast i think that's pretty good advice i think there's a lot of people out there that may struggle with that and i think it's like it's interesting to hear from a girl's point of view where it's like don't talk about my looks don't talk about what you think is your your go-to yeah like 
Like, I mean, but I'm also not, like, the typical, like, and I've heard this several times, like, I'm not the typical girl. Like, I'm not a huge shopper. I don't care about looks. Like, mm-hmm. I rarely, rarely, rarely wear makeup, mm-hmm. and I'm in sweatpants 97% of the time. Mm-hmm. Like, and I don't care. Like, I've gone to a bar looking the way that I currently look right now, which is in sweatpants and, like, a crop top. It's, like, <laughs> a fashionable top But, like, sweatpants. I mean, yeah, like, I don't look like a slob right now, but, like, I've gone, I've gone to a bar on a Friday night wearing, like, what I'm wearing right now. And, like, a lot of people have, like, raised their eyebrows. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I'm not that type of person that has yeah. to, like... But that's just me. So, like, a lot of girls are like that. Yeah. But I feel like you can tell, probably through their photos, if they're that type of girl. Uh-huh. If they're high... Like, I'm going to call it high maintenance just because that's what I consider it. Like, I don't... I would, Like, even, like, you get your nails done way more than I do. I only get them done when my mom offers to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I only started getting them done, yeah. But it's because it's cheap because Ashley does it for, like, 30 bucks. Oh, yeah. But, like, but, uh, that type of stuff. But do you find that maybe some girls are like that, but their pictures don't reflect that? Probably, because, I mean, pictures aren't everything. Right. Like, if someone judged me based on my photos, like, and I only take photos when I look decent, but I'm actually sweatpants 100% of the time. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, like, it's hard. And a lot of people, though, a lot of people, if you're a dude, upload some recent photo i've gone on some dates with some guys where their oh. photos are years old and they have gained so much weight oh there you go so it's like are you kidding and if a girl did that to a dude yeah. are you kidding me yeah the, the the guy would get upset get so mad right like as this would like tricks them tricks, right did i just say tricks 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 them i watching tricks. too much parent tricks. butter <laughs> <laughs> but like uh i just hate the whole dating scene like i'm just so i need a break so i deleted everything but like yeah that's fair as for setting the tone Mm -hmm. that's good no i think that's pretty good advice because like i don't have like crazy high standards but there's just a lot of scum yeah and just like be like a decent human being like i don't need to have doors open and chairs pulled but just like answer me when i ask a question yeah like it's not rocket science like if you're a decent guy just show how decent you Mm -hmm. are by caring a little bit and then as for girls just like literally like listen to red flags and like follow your guy because so many times I've tried to like make excuses. Yeah. And then lo and behold, it's like, yeah, that backfired real hard. Right. But seven years strong, ladies and gents. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you wanted be you, you wanted to be single for for the first six. I did want to be single for a lot of it. And, I mean, my Valentine's Day was a lot better than a lot God, of people's Bear. anyways. Sorry. <laughs> Bear decided to jump from the ottoman to the couch and, like, yes, knocked no, over everything. It just wants to be part. You want a mic, too? Want to be mic'd? I like his little ears. <laughs> he's sensitive about his ears because he's got the, he used to have that ear infection. And then oh. he had that dread. <laughs> 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 dread in his ear for a while. Oh. Like just, oh Bob Marley dread? Whatever. Everyone's got one. Oh, God. There. Oh, jeez. Just... I just low-key burped. I wonder if you could hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Leave it to me for the body functions. <laughs> Did he poop when you brought him outside? Yeah. Does he just want attention? Probably. No, he probably wants to go out again. It's been, I mean, it's been, what, two hours? I don't know. 9.30 usually goes up. I feel like... Oh, okay. That makes sense. Mm. Oh. Anyways, we're almost at an hour again. So... I think That'll we'll happen. Cut it off. And if you guys like... Episode two. Woo! <laughs> another one. And another one. I just can't <laughs> not hear DJ... Life. I know. That's essentially... The, yeah, all the... That's <laughs> all we should stop. There's more to life than mine. I don't have a life. <laughs> I can't talk about mine. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, um, I think Bear's gonna want to go outside. Yep. That's like the okay. cute. That's like the best excuse when you own a dog. It's like, yeah. oh, I have to go take my dog out. So yeah. <laughs> that's true. And in this podcast, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. See you next week. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys like it, let us know, and uh, we're out. Bye. Bye.